Chapter 10, First Mission Was Not Here. From your stopping place alongside the creek, you can now turn around to face the mission itself. Choose any of the benches, walls, or grassy areas and make yourself comfortable. Like the sign on the proud face of the gleaming white church declares, the mission was established in 1772, but not in this precise location. Before it came to look like this, the fifth of the now famous string of 21 California missions founded during the latter 1700s survived earthquakes, floods, and fires. It was just about two blocks west of here, to your left if you're facing the front of the mission. Father Junipero Serra founded Mission San Luis Obispo in 1772 with a simple cross erected near the creek. He commemorated the event by holding a mass to which anyone was invited. He hung a bell in a sycamore tree on the bank of the creek and rang it slowly several times. After the mass, Sarah left two friars in charge, tasked with building the mission and supporting structures. The priests oversaw Native Americans as they labored to build the first structures using local timber and tule reeds. Two years later, they moved the small enclave to the current site and built a new and bigger church. And a couple years after that, a band of Shumash set fire to the structures under a siege of flaming arrows. By 1782, the Chumash had set fire to the buildings twice more, the last time destroying 600 bushels of corn and most of the mission structures. In 1793, a new church was completed, paved, ironically, with sandstone quarried by Native Americans and built with largely Native American labor. During the early 1800s, the additional structure to the left of the church was built. It held a new granary, a weaving room, and seven additional rooms. Eventually, a hospital and kitchen were also built, and in 1820, the bells arrived from Peru. In the years to come, big rains and two earthquakes destroyed the mission facade that held the bells, so they rebuilt with stone. But by the 1840s, there was little left of the thriving community of earlier times. In his reports to the church government written in the 1830s, the presiding priest wrote, the hospital and portions of neophyte villages are in ruins and the rest of the village threatens to fall into ruins. Every day the mission structures are decaying more and more for want of sufficient hands to renovate them. Better days for the mission arrived when Mexico won her independence from Spain in 1821. By 1834, Mexico had taken over California and began selling off mission lands. San Luis Obispo's mission property was sold to Captain John Wilson for $510 in 1845, who converted the left wing into a school, a jail, and the first county courthouse. During the next century, the mission underwent several attempts at modernization and then restoration. We'll turn left now, heading back toward Broad Street. As you pass the Murray Adobe on your left, please turn left between it and the public restrooms and follow the winding brick path to your right. This will take you once again to the path bordering the creek and our final stop. You'll pass a wooden footbridge on your left and there's a green bench just beyond it.